as you can tell, the panel isn't on the background anymore, which means we're going to talk about it. Hey guys, Banggood is filled with products that look really good on the pictures, but you often wonder whether they're gonna look as good in your hands. And this DIY SMD kit was one of them. It really looked good on the pictures, and as you can tell from the B-roll that's running right now, it really looked good in your hands as well. But some things are designed in hell, and this is one of them. I honestly can't make my mind up at this point. One part of me absolutely loved this thing. I mean, it's really nicely diffused LED matrix with 8 rows of 32 LEDs each. Those are individual addressable LEDs, like as you can see from the animations. And it also comes with a clock with a real-time clock support, which means once you put the battery in, even if you disconnect it from the USB cable, which is used to keep this powered on, it's not going to lose the track of time. In addition to that, apart from clock and fancy animations, it also has FFT for audio, which means you can display equalizer like this uh, because it has a built-in microphone. If you don't fancy your voice or hearing the music, that way you can also hook up 3.5 millimeter jack to plug in your audio this way. I mean, what not to love, right? But the other part absolutely hates this thing. I mean, with passion, because it put me through such a uh, bad time. Ever since I got my hands on Mini Hot Play from Miniware, you can watch the review in the corner, I really wanted to do some more work in that direction. So I decided to get the SMD kit. And word of warning, you really have to have either a heat gun or a hot plate to accomplish the task at hand. Don't even try to use a soldering iron, even as fancy as a TS-80, because you're gonna get stuck. As everything arrives in pieces, you'll quickly realize that this isn't a real matrix. It's actually a, just a long strip that has been formed into eight rows. Now, obviously, the IC is already programmed, so you don't have to do all that conversion into the matrix. So all you have to do is just put some elbow grease and start soldering. I actually had a great time assembling the control board. Various components will provide you with various challenges that you have to uh, overcome in order to complete the task at hand. And even though I've run into some issues when I was soldering the main IC, it was a bit dark and I took the molding stamp as the orientation dot and I ended up with IC soldered in 90 degrees to the left. Well, I got there in the end. Turns out, there is a fair deal of mistakes that you can make without destroying the board and, well, as you can see, everything is working. After I finished having fun with the control board, I moved to the LED matrix and I still had fun for about 10, maybe 15 LEDs. But you have to realize one thing, there are 256 individual LEDs on that board with 256 capacitors. That's a lot of picking and placing. And do I look like a pick and place robot? I mean, 20, maybe 30 LEDs in, I absolutely had enough of this. To complete the matrix, it took me around three, maybe four hours, and I had a mini hot plate to help me out with the task. The whole thing turned into chore really, really quickly. At this point, I really started to regret all of that, and I wish there was an option for the LED matrix to be pre-soldered and complete so you could focus on the interesting part and still end up with a, well, quite good-looking result. What makes it even more fun is that you have also 256 chances to mess something up. And as this is me we're speaking about, I ended up with a couple of cold joints which I needed to find and reflow. So if your lights are flickering and doing weird stuff or just half of the matrix is displaying, this is probably something you'll have to investigate next. The next part that tested my patience was actually trying to assembling uh, the thin acrylic panels without breaking them. I mean, those things break quicker 
uh, than you thinking, I don't have a patience for it. Trying to align all that bendy parts with the T-shaped joints and screws, it's almost an impossible task and I've ended up with a couple of broken panels, mostly because I ran out of patience. It means that uh, sooner or later I will buy a nice thick piece of acrylic and I design a custom 3D printable enclosure for the electronics at the back and this will look pretty again. But if you have more patience than me and more skills in your fingers then you're more than welcome to get a DIY kit like this and try it for yourself. Just make sure you let me know in the comments how did that go. But I can't help but like it. I mean, it could be a Stockholm Syndrome right now. After all, I've been trapped with this for several hours and this thing inflicted a lot of suffering on me. But I grew to like it and it is featuring in my videos at the background, so I don't know. And even with a broken acrylic, it doesn't look that bad. So if you have at least as much patience as me, and you have the right tools to tackle SMD DIY kit like this, then I'm gonna list it in the description of this video. But be warned, this kit will test your patience and you might end up leaving it in the side of the room for at least a couple of weeks. But before this panel ends up permanently on the shelf in the background of my videos, there is a one more thing I'd like to try. I'd like to add ESP32 to be able to display internet or connected data. I was thinking maybe a subscribe account or maybe some tweets that I can scroll through, obviously moderated, through my videos uh, while I'm recording. I don't know how that's gonna turn out, so if you want to see this happen, then you know how YouTube works. I don't have a posting schedule, so use YouTube uh, tools provided to keep in touch or follow me on social media and start a conversation, especially if you have interesting links with the DIY SMD kits to share. So guys, if you want a kit like this, it's priced on Banggood around £35, which isn't terribly expensive, but it isn't cheap either, especially considering how much patience you have to put into this thing to make it work. Right, thanks so much for watching guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.